2023 coverage incumbent governor Andy Bashir won last night's election with about a six point spread over David Cameron, Daniel Cameron. That is our Liz DeSantis breaks down some of the more surprising trends to come out of the election. Davis County voted blue in yesterday's gubernatorial race for the first time since 2011. Now I sat down with a professor from Kentucky Wesleyan College's political science department to break down why. When a violent EF4 tornado struck Western Kentucky two years ago, incumbent Governor Andy Bashir was there. Man, I wish there were different circumstances. Assistant Professor of Political Science at Kentucky Wesleyan College, Dr. Eric Schmidt says that's what voters remembered from going to the polls this week. That didn't necessarily directly impact many residents of Davis County, yet it seems that that goodwill uh, curried a lot of favor for him in this part of the state as well. Davis County hasn't voted for a Democrat governor since 2011. In that race, Andy Bashir's father, Steve Bashir, won. Many people who do vote are low information voters. They see a name, they recognize the name, they have positive, usually, or negative associations with that name and vote accordingly. Schmidt says Cameron's attempts to tie Bashir to the National Democratic Party were unsuccessful. I think it was an intentional move by Cameron's campaign uh, to tie Bashir to Biden and to the National Democrats. Enormously unpopular here in Kentucky. While Schmidt says the Democratic win shouldn't mean too much for the 2024 presidential election, it may mean that Western Kentucky becomes a more important battleground in future elections. People do change their minds over time, okay? and this might indicate to Democratic strategists that parts of Western Kentucky, including Davis County, are a valuable place to spend time, resource, and assets uh, trying to build a coalition, maybe not next year, but into the future. For the rest of your election coverage, you can visit 14news.com. Reporting from our Western Kentucky studio, I'm Liz DeSantis, 14 News.